Hey guys, this is the next chapter vlog. I'm doing a short, long form video today. Um, I normally the shorts I do on a daily basis, I do from my iPhone and upload them from there. Uh, couldn't find a topic I want. Usually it's a day thing, uh, you know, ice cream day, or I think one of the ones was chili hot dog day. That's yeah, like, I can't do that. So I want to talk about what I'm working on right now. Um, one of the things I decided I wanted to do was I wanted to get into ham radio operation. So right now I'm studying for my technician's license, and I'm using this software called Ham Radio Prep. This is not a promotion. They're not paying me. I'm just talking about it. So I'm, I'm working through it. It's Each section is in three parts. There's a video. And then you get the transcript of the video, and that's part two, and you can read through that and study more. And then you get actual quiz questions from the FCC exam. And overall, I need to get 74% on the total exam from the Federal Communications Commission in order to pass this. So I'm working on that right now. I'm not looking at buying any equipment yet or anything along that line. I'm not sure where I'm going to take this afterwards. But what inspired me was when I did my trip to Flagstaff, I got a CB radio. I had one in the 70s and 80s. Uh, this was well before mobile phones, cell phones were a thing. And that's what you communicated with. And that's what I communicated with in college. Excuse me traveling back and forth between home and the university. You know, it was like 25 miles each way, and I would do that daily. And so I had the radio and could talk to people, get road conditions, let pe people let me know where the, uh, where the state troopers were on the side of the interstate and things like that. Uh, so I had one for this Flagstaff trip. Big reason I wanted one, even though, yes, I've got a uh, Apple iPhone, is there were spots out there when I was going through Utah and Arizona where cell service was literally non-existent. So I had to have some form of backup communication in case I ran into trouble on the road. I didn't, fortunately, but again, I was able to talk to people, uh, talk to truckers, uh, and along that line, CB radio has no regulation. Uh, CB radio is just you plug the radio in, connect it to an antenna, you can talk. Uh, there's no monitoring. You can say whatever you want. Yeah, the language gets more than a bit salty on occasion, and you occasionally run into somebody with very strong political opinions that it's like, I'm not going to argue with you. But ham radio is more regulated, more controlled. Uh, there's things you can and can't do. And so I would like to step into that realm, maybe get a, like I said, although I'm not buying equipment yet, get a um, something for the car and probably something as a base station here in the house. I've got the room now that I've cleaned things out. And we will try to go from there. So my question for all of you is, is anybody out there a ham radio operator? I'd love to connect with you and and learn a little bit more about what you do. And especially if you're putting videos out there, I'd love to see them. Uh, so that's kind of what I've got right now. Uh, and on that note, that's all I've got for today, and we will see you tomorrow.